Okay, this is a result of perfect planning. As you can see uh, the, on the, the last video that Chris uh, pegged everything out in the footings, as you can see, uh, absolutely bang on. So let's just show them down this side as well, Chris. This old uh, big on thing that we're laying. As you see, come down here, let's get out the puddle. Everything bang on, look. So you can't get better than bang on, guys. Make sure when you peg your footings out, you level off the existing, pull it all the way through. Tamp to the top of your pegs and away you go. Thanks for joining us. Okay, Lee. Right, obviously uh, we've, we've got a little step in here, so what you always need to do, always gauge down off the top of your damp, off your DPC level, which is your finished floor level, always gauge down, and then if there's any discrepancy, you always want to lose it on your first course in the footing. So when you get your first course set out and everything's level, then it's a dream as you build then, so it's all good. So absolutely imperative that whatever you need to lose, you're losing the first course at the bottom of your footing. Okay? We're all bumped out, ready to go. You put blocks, mortarboard, blocks, mortarboard. Got a nice square and, and, here. And absolute essential part of the kit is a set square. Yeah. Always make sure things are square, level, plumb, gauge. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're just squaring off and then we're going to strike the line at the bottom of the level. If you, if you look at the level, oh, excuse me, there she is, she's plumb off that now. Just, well, she was, hold on. There it is, that's plumb there, so I'll strike the bottom of the, the level now and then we'll pull a line off the mark on the wall and then that will give us a straight line to create this edge down this side of this foot in. So, there you go, okay. They ate the lock, so there's no need for sand and cement between the joints. Um, yeah, stick to your lines, always keep checking for square, obviously you're pulling off that, so when we get the first course on, we'll 3, 4, 5 off the existing building, make sure everything's square as we carry on and as we come up. But imperative you get everything out in the first course, and make your job so much easier when you come above ground, yeah. okay? Thanks yeah. very much. These are the interlockers, as you see there. Right, interlocks. Yeah, male and female. Male and female, there's your male. And there we go, and as you see on this job now, <coughs> just going to interlock them, handles up, there you go. line them up, just ease them down gently, there you go, and that's it, there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, stick with the taff, it's really easy. <laughs> straight through we pulled it through on the corner as you can see there and that gives us a straight edge to the edge of the building and we can take a line off that now by transferring that level down into the trench here so what we do put a bit of bit of mortar down on the floor what we do um, is transfer that down a bit more down. You've got plenty down. Okay. What I'm doing now, I'm transferring yeah. that level right. down. Well, I'll have to this, Chris. This look good, isn't it? What's happening now? We'll tighten right up. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to take And then we can lay down to that now. Okay, we're getting there. Just to show you the nice clean. Yeah, make sure that cavities are kept clean all the way around the building. Yeah. Obviously, absolutely spotless. Any building inspector will be glad to see it. So there we go, that one. Hey. There we go. 